Okay, so I'm going to show how to open up this uh, Samsung uh, all-in-one model DP700A3D-A01US. So it's pretty simple. Um, if you want to just upgrade the RAM, you just need to take this one screw out and you can pull this open. But to take this whole cover off, you don't have to take that out. So I'm going to show you how to open this up. So first what you want to do is lift up this thing like this. Take out the two screws from the bottom here. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Once you got that, what you want to do is kind of just get your nails between there and pull on it, just like that. Okay, both sides. I can do this with one hand while holding this. Okay, so just pull on it. Don't be too scared, and it'll come out. Okay, just like that. And then you can go along here and you can pull these out. So don't pull too far, because um, the top side of the screen has like some latches on it. Um, that kind of just go into the metal piece, so I'll show you. So after you pull it, then you can actually lift this up. So let me show you what I mean. So, as you can see here, there's these little metal things. And the plastic, it hooks into there. So the plastic looks like this. So you can see here, it has these little hooks. So when you put it back, you actually have to um, put it slightly up like this, and then you slide it. You have to slide it in. So make sure those line up and then slide it in. So now I'll show you what's inside the computer. So here's the hard drive. I put an SSD here. Um, but basically you have to take this out. So flip this black piece up like that, and then lift this up and pull it back, and it should come out just like that. You'll have to peel this tape off. Be careful that you don't put too much stress on this, so kind of peel the tape from the edge here, and then slowly peel it while holding this down so it doesn't flex too much, and then you can peel that out. But um, yeah, there's four screws holding the hard drive here, 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 and here. Okay, this cable, I believe, is for this whole panel. I'm not going to remove it since it's a customer's computer, and I don't want to do stuff that I don't need to on it. But it looks like the hinge is held in place with um, one screw here and one screw here. I don't know if somebody opened this before because it looks like there used to be another screw here maybe. But I don't see anything. So maybe somebody already opened it. But it looks like if you take those two screws out, you should be able to remove this unless there's a removable cover here. But um, I'm not going to show that because I don't want to mess with stuff I don't need to. But um, here's another cable. I believe this is for the LCD. This looks like the power jack connector. And then this is, I'm not too sure. It's probably for some more ports down here. So you can see all these connectors here. You can see here's the hard drive connector. So the hard drive connector goes here. Oh, actually it's here. Okay, so I guess there's supposed to be another hard drive connector here, but they only put one. I don't know why it's hard drive two. Okay, and another connector. Actually, this looks like for the power Actually, these both look like power jack connectors. That's kind of strange. Uh, hmm. There's so many connectors here, so I'm not sure what's for what, but yeah. Um, anyways, here's the wireless card, and then the antennas. Um, to take the antennas out, you kind of just pull from the back of the tail. Don't try and pry from up here, or you can break the connector, and it'll flip up like that. And then when you put it down, just put it on top you'll know that it's in place because if you like try and move it around it'll stay in place and then just push it down and then you got some more connectors here probably like for power buttons and stuff like that um, all right then the ram um, you only pull the silver part back sorry I don't know why it keeps going out of focus but only pull on the silver piece not the black part okay so just pull that and then the silver one here and it pops up just like that then you can take it out so there's a 4 gig stick and a 2 gig stick. So this is the 2 gig stick. Why is it so out of focus? This is weird. There we go. Okay, so you can see. And then let me show you the 4 gig stick. So if you want to like upgrade it, then you can see the type of RAM they use. There you go. Alright, I don't know why my phone's autofocus sucks right now, but... Then you got the processor under here, the heatsink. Um, looks like it'll probably be removable, but I'm not too sure. I don't want to take all this stuff out and redo it. But um, yeah, 
it's a big chunk of metal usually that means it's gonna be like removable then you got the USB 3 ports here and the audio ports they're part of this board so you can't easily replace them but um yeah this cable looks like it's I think for the power button of course the power button on the other side Let's lift it up and check. No, the power button's on the other side. So, that means these cables are hope for the power button. So you got all these small cables going around here. And you got all this stuff. But, um, yeah. Then you got the fan. Sorry, I'm not really showing too much useful stuff. But, uh, you got the wireless antenna here. You got the CD drive. There's one connector. It's on a separate board. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to show. Um, if you need to take things apart further, um, it looks like this actually has a bracket here. So you'd have to take this whole bracket out to remove this thing. Um, this side doesn't have a bracket like that. But um, that's pretty much all I'm going to show. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll let you and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if this video helped you, um, please like and subscribe because that'll help me out. Um, and for the hard drive, it's a little tough. Um, I left it in there when I took it out, but when you take the screws, there's some slack so you can kind of move it back. And then just make sure don't pull on the, the wire here. Usually I'll use like my nail or pry tool and just pull pull this like from side to side and it'll come out. Okay, let's see. You can see it's coming out. But yeah, so pretty much that's all you got to do to change the hard drive. Um, you take this tray out and then transfer these four, these, there's four more screws holding this bracket on, and then you can switch it out. But that's pretty much it. Um, once again, if this helped you, um, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.